What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles out of Dallas, Texas, and there are so many new dual suite or double suite models here at this RV event here in Indiana that I'm currently at, and I want to show you every single new dual suite model, both in travel trailers and fifth wheels, and show you everything that is kind of rivaling now that Avalanche 390DS that was so popular and what other options are gonna be out there for 2023 that have two full bedrooms in them. So let's go. We're gonna start with coming to Outback over here. I really wish Sprinter would have done a two bedroom setup, but we have yet to see that from Sprinter. However, we do have it in a travel trailer here with Outback. Now keep in mind, Outback has the seven point auto leveling system, has a tankless on demand water heater, has the 200 amp hour lithium batteries, and this is your floor plan layout here with the specs on the Outback. So you can pause the screen there to get a better look at that if you need to. We're gonna go through these a little bit more quickly. I have individual walkthroughs of every single one of these models that you'll be able to access as well as soon as I have those uploaded. And many of them might be uploaded already. We actually have somebody walking through here. So we're gonna go back around this way actually. You saw your king bed there. But as we go back through here, you have two entrances. So this will be your entrance directly into your second bedroom with the king bed. You have your storage here for this bedroom. And then you have the really wide entrance into both these rooms. So they have this listed as wheelchair accessible here because of your wide entry doors into your bedroom that you see here, wide entry or into your bathroom, sorry. Have your dinette storage here. I'm a slide, slide by slide. out here. Sure. It's not a hinged door. And then see, same thing here, wide entrance into this bedroom as well. So you have your king bed in here, and then you have your wardrobe storage in there. So step out of here. That is your Outback 343 DB. So DB probably standing for double bedroom, I would imagine something along those lines. But this is about a 38, 39 foot travel trailer that gives you a dual master suite option. And that is a single bathroom option on that one there. Okay, so that's gonna be the smallest of all the ones that we have to look at. You'll get kind of a look around here. Really excited about this rig because this is not a two full bedroom, but this does have the coolest bunk room I've seen here at the setup. So I will have a video of that Sprinter model there on my page as well. We're gonna go to the Cougar because the Cougar is gonna be the next smallest option that we have where the Cougar is going to be a 350 DMS. So 350 Dual Master Suite. You can see you have the second entrance there into the back here on this Cougar model. And this is your floor plan layout for this one. So you actually have a four cushion sofa here. And then you have the queen bed up front, king or queen in the back. And then you have the second full bathroom in this one, full bathroom up front as well. Here's your specs for the dimensions there. And then this one actually has the 600i solar package on it as well. So these are options you can get on a Cougar fifth wheel or travel trailer has the two 330 watt solar panels on the roof with all that additional solar equipment there. So we come into this one. Cougars are also now coming with the Goodyear endurance tires. Just want to point that out real quick. And then we got a couple people in here. So we're going to kind of walk around them. Oh, and the every single Keystone RV is now coming with a tankless on demand water heater. So you do have the tankless water heater there. And I think I've heard a rumor that that will actually allow you to have hot showers going at both times in both showers here in this model as well. Lippert solid step going up into this back restroom here where you have your porcelain toilet, your shower here that has plenty of shower height. You could be about seven feet and still fit in the shower just about. And then it does actually have a little bit of tub space there as well for about an eight inch deep tub. You have all your storage back here along this back wall. And then this is a more of a mid profile fifth wheel. So your ceiling height isn't too crazy here because you can see how the roof kind of slants down. That um, one thing that's really unique about this is this ke is keeping it right at about 40 feet and under 12,000 pounds unloaded. So a smaller fifth wheel that's gonna have a dual suite option. Now, as we walk in here, hopefully there's not people on the other side of this door. Let's see, okay, cool. So you have the retractable bed here. So this bed retracts, you have your switch for it right here. It's the only one we're gonna see that has the retractable bed on it. So that is pretty cool. Really big slide out in this area. You have your storage up above there. You have outlet on this side, USB ports, outlets, USB ports. And you have 
all of your different storage through here as well. Spot for a TV on the wall, not gonna come with a TV because this is gonna be one of your least expensive fifth wheel dual suite options out there in this Cougar. And then let me slide through here. We're gonna come through here real quick. Have your setup in here. Excuse me. We're gonna squeeze through there. You have your bathroom up in here. And then your bedroom here with the queen bed, wardrobe slide in here as well. And then you have your windshield up front here. This does have a full profile front cap now on this model as well. So more up and down there a bit with your windshield there. This is gonna be a dual AC option as well. And then as we come back out through here, have your four cushion sofa there. You have a table that pulls out here as well. And then you have your washer dryer connections back in there. So lots going on with this, it's pretty exciting. They do condense a lot of things down to keep it under 40 feet, but this is gonna be one of your smallest dual master suite options that you have. Then that is gonna take us to the Montana high country where we're gonna look at the 381 TB. So when we hop out of here, this, the next size up that we're gonna have is gonna be in the Montana high country. And I'm just praying and hoping that I'm not missing something mentally that like don't miss a model or floor plan that is also out here. This one's gonna most closely rival the 390DS, where this one you can see has the rear entrance as well. This is more of a full profile fifth wheel. It never fails that the ones that I wanna show people walk in it right before I'm about to go in there. But this is gonna be a much bigger version. You have your floor plan layout here where you have the queen bed in the back, and then you have a full bathroom here. Now on this one, they cut the loft right here. So this one does have a loft like the 390DS. You have a loft over this area right here, and then that gives you a full height shower in the back. You also have another bathroom up front here, king bed up front, and then you have your living room set up all in here. Your specs there for the length on this one, this is getting closer to that 42, 43 feet length like you have on the 390DS. And this has a 16 gallon gas electric water heater. So nice big gas electric water heater there. Let's see if we can uh, peek our head in here real quick. Hopefully don't get in anybody's way. Oh, also it's a full profile fifth wheel. So you get much bigger storage compartment up front with the drop frame construction, full profile front cap, and the roof is straight all the way back. Plus this one, just like the 390DS, drops the frame along the back as well. So you can get that loft space in there. And I think there are, let's see. Yeah. Couple people in there, so we're gonna backtrack. Okay, we're gonna start in the back where you have this rear entrance into this second master bathroom, which what is most exciting about this, there's not like a great amount of storage or anything. And still enough room on this toilet, I have sat on that. It doesn't, my arm doesn't, or shoulder doesn't quite hit that um, counter there, believe it or not. But I am rather slim, so that is something to keep in mind back here. But you have a full height shower. So full height shower, you stand up in here and literally unlimited ceiling height. You have the max air fan and this here, plenty of space for anybody of any size to fit in this shower there. And it's a fiberglass one piece shower at that. Queen bed back here. So you have that queen bed, lots of storage back in here. This looks very similar to the 390DS. You do have the loft up over the space have a heat pump in the ACs on this model. So there's actually heat coming out of this AC vent and I can confirm there is a good amount of airflow coming out of there. So definitely can feel the warmth from that and it will help keep you cool as well. And then you also have the AC vent here as well. So you can keep this door open to get even more cool air coming into this bedroom area when needed. And that's pretty much everything in this area. We're gonna wait for the living room to clear out so we can go through the rest of the rig. All right, so let's go inside this Montana 381. TB here. I do want to point out it is a taller entry door into here. Your entry door is about six foot three, six foot four. You're good. You can come through. But you have a bigger oven and stove in here than you've seen in the other models so far with the Cougar and the Outback. And then this one here, you have your loft up above, just like you did in the 390, except they delete that part going back to the rear wall. So when you get up here, your height is just as tall as the height in the 390 loft. You still have that 33 inches of height there. Grown adult can come through here and crawl on all fours. You have your residential 
air filter in your AC and that does have a heat pump in it. So there's actually heat coming out of these vents right now, which is beautiful right now because it is rather cold out here, surprisingly. And then you have a fireplace in here, island kitchen, similar seating arrangement to the 390DS, but you have a booth dinette instead of the table and chairs. So you're gonna have that here in this Montana high country. And this Montana high country does have a designated pantry, which the 390DS from Avalanche did not have. And here you have your fiberglass one piece shower back here. You have your toilet back behind here with some shelving back behind there, or not some shelving, some cabinetry. And then you have a king size bed here, east to west facing bed in this bedroom, spot on the wall for a TV. And you're going to have washer dryer connections in here with your wardrobe closet. So this one will probably be most closely uh, a comparison to the Avalanche 390DS and definitely most close in cost as well. Now you will have a little bit difference here between the Avalanche and the Montana where the Avalanche is 100 inch wide body construction. This is 96 inches wide. So a little difference there as well. Your slide out boxes in an Avalanche are a little bit taller than the slide out boxes in here as well. So the Avalanche still might be a little bit more expensive than the Montana High Country. So this will be a slightly less expensive option that still gives you the loft there as well. So let's get over to the Alpine and look at the Alpine model where Alpine basically made an Avalanche 390DS because Alpine is the big brother to Avalanche. So the Alpine has their 3912DS that is going to get rid of the loft completely and give you a true mother-in-law suite. So let's head over to that one. And then of course, right after that, you have the Avalanche 390DS, which actually is not on display here because it is not a brand new model. Alpine rep. What's up? So we're looking at all the different dual suite models that are out here. So right. we're trying to get to the Alpine. Of course, every model I want to go look at, people are walking in them. 3912. It's, yeah. it's, it's nonstop. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. So the 3912 is going to be the big brother to the Avalanche 390DS. It'll be the biggest dual suite option that's available. And this is going to be like a true mother-in-law suite where let's look at the floor plan layout here real quick. They delete the loft in here that you had in the Avalanche 390DS. So you get a true queen bed suite back here with a full height shower, which I think is really gonna be what gets a lot of people excited on this one. This is something like we saw in the Cougar and Montana high country as well, but this here is just more of like a true bedroom feel than what those are because that's what this is designed to be. So I know uh, the Alpine team is pretty excited because that Avalanche 390DS was uh, pretty unreal, the success that that had and the excitement that created. And it's so, gonna continue the momentum that that had. Yeah. Without the loft, so it gives you two nice options. Absolutely, so this will look a lot like the Alpine, or the Avalanche inside, but the Alpine just comes with a lot more features on it. You can see everything listed on here. Um, things like your electric power cord reel. Um, this here is also a 100 inch wide body construction fifth wheel with the taller slide out boxes. So that's gonna separate this from the Montana high country from the Cougar. It's gonna give you this bigger feel inside than those options. This also has a walk-in pantry. So that's something that's gonna be different than all the other models as well. So let's see if we can peek our head in here. We got some people in here as well. So we're gonna wait for them to get out of there. So as we step inside here, again, this is Alpine 3912DS. And you come in here and this is really going to be like the most um, residential feeling of the bunch and i'm trying to think of the best way to describe it i mean it is literally just like a two full bedroom fifth wheel where you have this queen size bed back here huge space here they get rid of the loft which gives you all of this storage space through here i mean it is incredible if you want to see more details on these specific models again i will have specific videos for each one of these that goes through them top to bottom where you can go get more information about them but look at this bathroom here this is actually what would technically be your second bathroom, but this is bigger than the main bathroom on the top level. And this gives you again, that unlimited shower height in here, max air vent fan, have the TV installed in the bedroom. 
And then you have your second level up there is what I'm referring to where your bedroom and bathroom is up there. Table and chairs, recliner seats, seating directly across from the TV, insignia, four burner stove and bigger oven. And then your walk-in pantry here with all of this storage space all through there. And then this option has the third AC just, or this has the third AC option, just like the Avalanche 390DS does as well. So those will both have that. These are both the Alpine and the Avalanche, a hundred inch wide body construction with the taller slide out boxes here as well. And then up into the bedroom and bathroom, it's pretty similar from what we're used to seeing from Alpine across the board, pretty much up here. We have the fiberglass one piece shower there with the molded in seats. You have your bathroom set up here. Nice looking light there. Um, has a standard vent fan in this bathroom. And then you have your king size bed back here with your wardrobe closet, TV installed in this bedroom as well. And then you have washer dryer connections back here. So you can do a washer dryer and you have wardrobe closet. Residential filter in your AC as well on this one. And this is really kind of the true, you know, two bedroom fifth wheel that gets rid of that lock to give you so much more space. And this one is going to have the most features out of all of them and be the most expensive of the bunch. Of course, I had to get over to the Solitude display and show Solitude's version of what their two bathroom is gonna be. So this is going, or two full bedroom, two full bathroom. So this is the 391 DL. You'll have a queen bed in the back, queen or king bed up front, all your seating space here in the middle, kitchen space, and then you have a full bathroom in the back with the rear access door as well. So you can see this one here, they do not drop the frame on it. So no drop frame on this, but they do still have a loft in it. So you're gonna get a little bit smaller loft because there is no drop frame, but you also don't have to worry about the drop frame as well because it does lower the clearance just a little bit. Although the other options, they do taper off that tail end. So it's not a huge concern. Now let's go in through the back as we've done with some of these other ones. This is actually pretty high up off the ground. So you have a four step, more ride step coming up in here. Open this up and because they cut the loft in here as well. You do not have the loft there and have a full high shower. So that is going all the way up, have a max air fan. Now, one thing that's interesting, this is not a fiberglass shower. This is a plastic two piece shower. So not exactly the same level of quality back here as we've seen in some other models. This is more online with like the um, Cougar model that we saw. Um, this here does sit on this adjustable height shower head there. It looks like it's gonna come probably to about the height of my head or so. I think you just, yeah, lift that up through there. There we go. Have this unlimited shower height here and then you do have just a regular shower curtain. Lots of space in here as well. It does have a big base there to stand in. This is gonna have the porcelain toilet with the soft closed lid, foot flush toilet there. And then directly across from here, you have your storage here in the bathroom. And then again, taller ceiling height in this bathroom. Open these up, your drawers there, stainless steel sink, and storage down through there. Bigger drawer there as well. Outlet right here, and that's the outlet that you have in here. Now this is your second full bedroom. Really nice space in here actually. Now you don't have any steps going in and out of here, which that's a nice thing. That drop frame requires steps coming down into the bedroom. So this keeps it flat going back through here. And then this here is your queen size bed. Plenty of room here. If you lift this up, you will have storage down underneath here. Now, if you wanted to make this some kind of desk space or something like that, you can kind of see, you know, all this stuff is kind of well put in here, but you would have to just rip all this stuff out and then put your desk somewhere on top of this slide out platform or something along those lines, if you wanted to make this a desk. But you do have your storage underneath there and your two pull out drawers in here. Again, this is a queen size bed. It almost looks like the width of a king would fit on here. You can see the space on each side. Nice looking area all around here. And then you do have TCL smart TV here in the bedroom. All your storage space in here. This is in the slide out. So this does open up the space more. Now this is something that is different in the solitude. It feels so huge in here because you have opposing slide outs in this room. So that gives you more floor space coming through here. Open up those, you have those four drawers and then three more here. So having this slide out is definitely giving you a bit more storage, a bit more deep storage throughout there. And then your clothing rods there, magnet latches on those and soft closed cabinet doors. Sliding pocket door here to the bedroom and it is on this side, not in the living room side. 
Then you come out here to your living room, you have your TV, insignia, four burner stove, island kitchen. This one does have dishwasher prep, so if dishwasher is super important to you, it can be put into this compartment there, as you can see with that there. You have your dinette table seating, recliner seating, and then your loft here, because it's not a drop frame, you can see it's not nearly as tall, but when you come up here, it is still a large space up here. This is just gonna be about half the height of the 390DS loft or the Montana High Country loft. So this one here is not one that a grown adult can get up here and crawl on all fours on. Your back is gonna hit this wall here. If you get up here and crawl on all fours, you're gonna have to do a little bit more of an army crawl in this one. You do have a privacy curtain built in and then a spot for a TV on the back wall there. So the whole thing, they have mattresses on all the way across. So that's pretty nice. Fireplace here. Again, island kitchen, pantry back here. This is something where the 390DS did not have a pantry. So this one does give you a designated pantry space. Then all your big campsite windows right there as well with the pull down blackout shades. Um, black faucet, big sink here. And that's pretty much everything in your living area. Come up here and you will have a floor sweep here as part of the central back system. Kind of your built in dust pan touchscreen control panels to control the RV, but you should also have manual switches. You have your bathroom in here, amazing looking solitude shower that you have here. And so when you step in here, this is drop. This is gonna give you a great shower height or your height up into here is probably about six, six or so, six, seven. And then you have another couple of inches here. So you can be about six, eight and fit in this comfortably. And this actually does sit above my head there. Also like that they put the fiberglass almost all the way up to the ceiling line there. There's hardly any glass, uh, any gap. So that goes up higher than a lot of other models as well. Linen storage back through there, coat hook. And then I didn't come back in here to check if the TV was on or not. So we're gonna get in and out of here real quick because the TV, actually, you know what? Let's see if we can turn it off. Okay, got the TV off. You have your king size bed in here. You have your windows all around there. And then you have Six drawers that pull out, another TV in this bedroom as well. This is a TCL smart TV, six drawers. Washer dryer connections in here. So a different closet setup than what we saw in 2022 for Solitude where you have your washer dryer connections now in there or that extra storage. And then you have the big kind of almost walk-in curve style closet in here. So curious to hear what your thoughts are on this one as well versus all the other ones. I'm um, obviously curious to hear your thoughts on which one you think is the best. So let me know down below in the comments. All right, y'all, so that's it. Those are all of the dual suite options that are coming that are new this year from Keystone. Now, the only one that's not here is the Avalanche 390DS. Now I have done like four videos of that model already. So y'all should probably know what that is. If you haven't already, you can look up the 2022 Avalanche 390DS until I get a 2023 one in and I can get a video of that one right now. It's just 2022 models but you can go see that one as well. So that one will fit kind of right between the Montana high country and the Alpine for options with a two full bedroom setup. So those are all the new floor plans coming with the dual suites. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite is. Definitely curious to hear your feedback on all these because these are all new floor plans and they're trying to see, and I'm trying to see which ones are gonna stick the best and which ones y'all like the best. So that's all I got for y'all. Till next time, I'll see you out camping.